touching the cross guard though, so I just chopped my finger off. Careful. Oh, lightsaber safety 101. Well, it's been a little while since we've done a video, but we got back from Star Wars Celebration in Chicago a few days ago, and we had a really awesome time. And of course, one of the big reveals there was the Episode 9 trailer, The Rise of Skywalker. on the rise of skywalker um i don't think the title is that great uh i like it better than attack of the clones which i feel like is the worst title mysterious like you don't really know what they're referring to is it the rise of ben solo slash skywalker is it yes probably not maybe probably going to explore the ruins of the death star that kind of um hint to that i think they go back to uh, jakku they'll probably fight the knights of ren it was fun There's... to watch the trailer with all of the thousands and thousands of people. We were not in the episode 9 panel, but we were on the exhibit floor. Anytime anyone appeared on screen, the crowd screamed so no one could hear anything. Whoa! Oh, it's Ray! Oh! Lando! <laughs> oh my god, Kylo! I didn't think he'd be back! <laughs> I think I got the most out of the trailer when we watched it in the hotel room, right? Because with the screaming and the people and that there's just so much happening and at first I was like, Ben fixes his mask, what? But <laughs> then everyone's like, who is it, who is it? And uh, I noticed it's some person with like very hairy arms. Not that I know how much arm hair Adam Driver has. I mean, I do. <laughs> maybe it is him, maybe he grew out his it's arm. It's not him. Adam Driver was in New York doing his Broadway play, so I... Did that was run. one of the bigger disappointments <laughs> of the trip. There wasn't anything like super surprising in the trailer with the exception of the return of the Emperor. <laughs> Who I got to meet at Star Wars Celebration and uh, we took a picture together and he also signed this figure of Darth Sidious from episode one. Yeah, it was a cool surprise to then have the following day figure out that he's gonna be back in the movies. I don't need to go to any other Comic-Con or convention. That was, that was a lot, it was a lot of people. I don't feel a need to go to a Star Wars celebration again. Like this was all Star Wars all the time. Um, I feel like conventions are ruined for me now. Uh, we just got very lucky. We avoided a lot of lines. Lines that people were waiting in for like six hours. The next day we swooped in and got through the whole process in like an hour. Celebration Oops. store, yep. And we also got some exclusive Hasbro figures that you were only supposed to be able to buy if you Won were a in a lottery. We, we went to the 20th anniversary of the Phantom Menace panel. That was like his favorite thing. <laughs> yeah, I, I like the prequels quite a bit. Um, so it was neat to see. And then they also had Ian McDermott once again participated in that. Um, Ray Park, who played Darth Maul. C-3PO, Anthony Daniels. He was fun. He was. He kind of mixed it up with the, uh, with the MC Warwick Davis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they had a good time. And then Ahmed Best, Jar Jar. Ugh. And uh, yeah, he got a really warm reception though at uh, Celebration. So I guess that was nice. I still don't like his character that much, but uh, at least people are, were friendly to him. Do you have any other Star Wars thoughts? Are you excited now for nine? I am. Okay. <laughs>